Alright. Allergy attack right as soon as I stop recording. <laughs> hmm. Well, but yeah, we're back. So I'm gonna try to like get that guard. Maybe I can take back my fine that paid. I actually didn't think though he was gonna fight me again. Probably because it was so soon after I paid my fine. Like they do that thing where it's like if I see you cause trouble again, I won't hesitate to shred you apart. It's just like, oh, okay. And then usually I walk away. But that time, which is like, huh, I wonder if I can squeeze behind them and just stealth kill. But that wasn't exactly happening. Yep. And now we need to try to, like, gain health. Because I think I have, like, 19. Oh, no, we're at 21. Ain't too bad. Open sesame. Let's see. Okay, so Mr. Guardman is nowhere to be seen. Shut this door real quick. Yoink. Yep, here's the people we assassinated, so they saw that for sure. Okay. Let's go investigate a little bit more. <coughs> There's an axe, I think. Might be able to take it though. Sweet. Mine. Uh, but yeah, let's go see if I can sleep. Maybe like maybe I could, uh, you know, trespass a little bit, sleep, and then maybe I could um, get the other villager, get him taken out. Plus, I need a heal anyway, so sleeping would be the best method of healing. And I gotta wait until evening, kind of. So let's sleep for three hours. Why not? That should be about to like ten, and we'll probably be woken up by the villager. So. Even if I sleep for an hour, it's fine. Probably won't be the case, though, because these guys... Oh, I forgot to hit my timer. Uh, but, yeah, these guys usually stay awake almost all day, just farming. But if we're fine, we're fine, then cool. Well, one thing that sucks, though, is, like, two others that we didn't get to murder actually witnessed that murder that I performed. So, now it's, like, I don't know which villagers did, but... Lucky for us, since we keep paying out our fines, we get to continue from where we were. So I can take out some people and they'll be like, oh, you paid 300 gold? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I just hope I didn't sleepwalk. So my guy has that, uh, disability, if you want to call it that. Yep, it did. It did happen. Fuck. Oh, where am I right now? I'm at a random hay bale in a distant distance. Well, that's just great. We started this episode with not knowing where the hell I am. Oh boy, I need to hit like a shrine of some type or something. Cause like, there's a lot of this map I don't know, and then until I start learning the map, I won't know where I'm going, where I need to go. You know. And usually I would head to the tallest area in the room and then go, okay, I need to go this way. But I see a building, so maybe maybe that might help. <laughs> no idea where I'm at. This sleep mod thing is crazy, man. I guess it's good my guy got to sleep, though. <laughs> and now if I, if I was about to be under arrest, and I needed to escape, but then I went to sleep. That would definitely be a good way of getting out of there. Just take advantage of my sleep well. But the weird thing about it, though, is it's random, so... I wonder if there's a way to actually like, figure out what we can and can't do it. Like, do I need a certain amount of sleep? Or if I don't have enough sleep, but I sleep what the next day? Like, because I remember something like that when I was little. Like, I, I tried to stay up late to watch cartoons and stuff. Especially the uh, adult stuff, because I wasn't really allowed to do that. So I, even though I want to understand most concepts, like I would just go, "Haha, I'm watching mature stuff. I'm not supposed to," you know, "Haha." <laughs> but yeah, it definitely caught me off guard, though, especially with like a lot of the uh, mature animes. Like I'm so used to seeing cartoons being like relatively innocent, like, "Oh yeah, haha, tiki, Barney type stuff." Like, "I love you. You love me." We're a happy family, you know, that type of shit. But, you know, then I see Inuasha, like, you know, cutting fucking dragons in half and centipede demons. 
and the next thing you know, fucking Yusuke or Meshi pops in, spirit guns another demon straight through the head, carries on like a fucking badass. And I remember being semi mortified, but I was like, yo, he just, he's saving people's lives. Like, I started to notice it, but then, you know, I remember I had that cliche feeling where it's just like, oh yeah, like, destroying the villains, just to kill, kill all the evil. But then I started learning real quick later on that, you know, we're not all too different. You know, one person might be the evil person towards another. That's the sucky part. So like, if you're telling a story from one perspective, it can see be seen as like, oh yeah, this guy is the hero, he's the Superman. But if Superman's going out, you're killing all the villains, like if you think about a different perspective, a lot of these people that may be attacking him or Superman starting fights with him because he doesn't like the organization, maybe they weren't making enough money for their family and they needed to do some like you know, under the table, sketchy, sketchy type shit. You know, just to make anything. You know, because they, they weren't able to. So, I mean, if you think about it like that, then it's like shit. Like, I, he basically was just killing people. It, it wasn't justice, it was just, he was doing it for fun. <laughs> Alright, so it's almost night time. We, we definitely need to get back to the, uh, to that hoi oh, no, I though. I can't pick up these apples. We were able to pick up apples before. At the beginning of the game. That was nice. Is there no ladder? Yeah, I feel like I can probably drop down into here. Oh, this is an invisible ceiling. What? Oh, uh, that's stupid. Huh. Weirdo, too, because, I mean, the front door's open, so... I Maybe mean, this is like a recently raided place or something. Damn, me either. Oh, did I just see a person? I think I did. Is there a bandit here? Oh, shit. If I so much as hear a guy go, ha! Like, I'm getting the fuck out. But yeah, from here, though, it looked like there was a dead person. Just, just chilling on the ground. Maybe I was just imagining stuff. Uh, maybe from all my murdering, I've actually started seeing my victims in my visions. <laughs> but there is a... is that a person? No, it's not. What the fuck, man? Let's investigate a little bit. This is nighttime after all, so there's gotta be somebody sleeping. Well, just about to get dark. <laughs> Nothing in here. But I'll take that, why not? Thank you very much. <laughs> hmm. eh. Did I lose health? Seven now. That's a lot better than that 20 health they had when we started with this. Oh, I don't have a torch. I think we sold it all. Or well, most of them, anyway. This is literally the time I would meet the uh, the monk. I definitely need to hurry it up. But I mean, I'm curious about this town. Like, what happened? Like, why, why is everybody gone? Is this somewhere I've already been? <laughs> or is this somewhere where maybe the bandits stopped by and there's some lore going on? Definitely hate to run up and then some fighting goes down. At least that uh, respawn thing, though, when we woke up from the sleepwalking, you know, like that usually saves whenever we sleep. So that might come in handy. Uh, also, pardon me, I need, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> uh, where's my. Where's my rag? Fine. Eh. I always misplace shit.
fly. Maybe I was trying to get it out of the way or something. I don't know. Right, we're back. I couldn't find what I was looking for, but I grabbed a new one. <laughs> if you don't have tissue or toilet paper, use a rag. That's the rule. Oh man, it was dark. Fuck. And raining too. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we probably would not have walked that far. Because uh, uh. I feel like I kind of know where we are, but not quite. So like maybe once we get up to this big tree, I'll kind of realize that we're going to have to do a lot of walking today. Also, after that one time, that one Cuban ambushed me. I'm a little bit worried about, like, passerby or Cubans now. Like, especially in the nighttime. Like, they attack the other village in the nighttime, do they attack my village in the night as well. Like, going into daytime. So they did, like, a whole five hour raid on the town. So that's a little scary. Oh, I think we found a shrine. Good. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's not something I've seen before. If it's something new, then I can use it. That we're going to have to keep walking until we find like an accident or, <laughs> you know, something new. Because I'm pretty sure like accidents usually disappear on the map because they respawn. So something like that would be easy. Or maybe like a monument of some kind or anything really. Yeah, before we keep going, I want to see if I can get some more food eaten so we can boost out my minuscule amount of health it's health one point so I mean if it is a little bit a little bit should help me just a bit I do eat a lot so now I'm just five health yeah we're stopped right now but at least for healing that's cool so hopefully that will do some slow recovery yep aha discovered a shrine so it's gotta be a new shrine I would think something new let's see I'm trying to think of all the places that we've discovered so far so I mean, we got this shrine I definitely did not go this far, because that one is something else. It's, uh, what's that thing? It's Constellation Cross, what? Uh, let's see if it's something outside of town. Yep, it says that we got a bounty. Yep. Uh, I might be here, for all I know. So maybe I'm heading the general right way? Kinda? So when we came from a town, or like three buildings. I think that's where we started from. Yeah, we must have sleepwalked all the way from the place that we walked into illegally and walked all the way over here. Yep. So let's see. So that way we just came from, I think, was the town. I mean, the building. So let's go this way. Yep. We can always try picking a direction, but I'd rather follow the path first and try to figure it out. And with it raining too in nighttime, it's a little bit hard to tell where the hell I'm at. And I wouldn't normally wait, but I'm trying to get to this meeting with this uh, priest. It's 22 o'clock. So, I mean, it's literally the beginning of the nighttime, so I'm sure we got plenty of time. You know, the, the night, the evening. Oh, the evening is probably 
several several hours and most people probably go to bed around midnight maybe 1 a.m. so we got probably two hours in game time and to translate into real life time that means I have basically a half hour to get back to this town so and we're walking so that might take a little bit too I don't think it'll take a whole half hour if I find where I'm going and I actually head in the direction of the town but yeah if, if we can't see it because the hills I might be fucked. If I'm going the wrong way, I'm also fucked. <laughs> so, I mean, even if we don't get there on time, I can always meet them up the next day. Be like, hey, sorry I missed that opportunity. Can we do it again? You know, maybe he'll agree to that. Because he did say, oh, maybe if I get drunk, I might loosen my tongue a little bit. You know, he, he kind of... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Confirmed, and uh, it's not the word. It's like where you both agree to something. So you get like an in between. Oh, yep, there's the town. Good. Sweet. Oh, I should start heading in that direction now. <laughs> That's uh, niche witch, whatever it's called. Nit bitch. Because <laughs> I remember in Neuhoff now, after saying Neuhoff over and over, like. 20 billion times. So now I need to get used to saying this one. Because I remember Ravna, I remember Scarlet's, you know, cause Scarlet's talked about it all the time. Uh, what? <laughs> he literally does that just to go, hey, I want to be pet. But now you're getting pet all the time, buddy. If you get your desires fulfilled 24-7, I need mine fulfilled 24-7 as well. We got like a little bargain going on here, Sylvester. I am dad, but I also think it'd be wise if you let me do whatever the fuck I want sometimes. I deserve it. I'm the one who works. What do you do? You get to lounge here. You get to hang out. You get to have permission to be bored. I would love to be bored because then I could play more video games and just lounge around and do nothing. Cause that's what I did when I um, I had a state where I was a little bit depressed after my old relationship, or well, big relationship, and you know I just kind of didn't feel like working right away. I was like, well, I got ten thousand dollars and rent is like nine hundred, so it's like all right, so I can probably go six months or so if I really budget myself and just kind of do nothing and then when we get to the final month or the other month right before I get like almost no money like left in my account that's when we'll apply for a job so I'm sure most places would you know hire somebody with almost five years work experience <laughs> even if I am kind of young you know because at the time I think when I started my current job I was like uh, 24, maybe 23, and maybe even, I'm 27 now, I've been there about three, maybe four and a half years, so I think I got there when I was like 24 maybe, yeah, so that means I was working my other job when I was like 21 to 23 maybe, yeah. so it's like, both are halfway of my 20s, yeah. and I'm almost 30. So, I'm excited. I get to be taken a little bit more seriously now. I mean, I've already been, you know, in that adult field, you know, for a good seven years now, or more. You know, people can see me and kind of go, alright, this guy is kind of older. You know, he's not a kid, but some people, business-wise, they go, oh yeah, have the kid do the project. And it's like, really? Like, I I'm older than 18, you fuck. <laughs> I'm not a teenager. It's like, yeah, but you were the most recent one to be a teenager, so you might be less mature than the other ones here. But then again, I've seen some very well-aged 50, 60-year-olds that are way more immature than me, so who knows. Like, uh, I won't tell you guys what's the person's name, but we'll just do C. Let's say Mr. C uh, wasn't exactly the most greatest boss at my, at my job site. I was kind of a cacosaurus. And uh, nobody liked him. We could kind of tell something was up right when he started. So it's like, yeah, we might have to fire this guy. Even, even my boss were like, yeah, dude, like, 
I think we're getting rid of him in like a month or two. Like, I, I don't want him here. Like, he's, just, he's irritating everybody. Nothing's getting done. He's in the way. And like even in your way too, we can see it. So, you know, if anything comes up, let us know. It's like, alright. And uh, we never got into like a big argument. A big argument happened with somebody else. But for me, before that big argument, which probably set him off a little bit to make himself more weaker for when the time came when he argued with the next co-worker. Um, there was a time where I went to go get into my car. I was a little bit mad from the day. It was a stressful work day. And I turned my key, and I broke my key. I was like, fuck, I can't get into my car properly. So, <laughs> lucky for me, it was already open. So I drove, uh, you know, early in the morning. I called and I said, hey, I, uh, you know, I know it's the next day. And, you know, it's still a good hour until work hours. Just in case this takes a while. I'd rather take an off day today, so I could spend as many time, as many hours, whatever it takes to get my key replaced. Um, you know, and also I can kind of hang out, and relax, because I'm kind of stressed. And it's like, okay, sure, whatever. And it's like as long as you come in other days, blah blah blah, and don't be taking three days off in, in a week. You know, that'd be kind of disrespectful. But it's like, you know, if you need a day or two, that's fine. If you want a no pay day too, just let us know. It's like, okay, it's pretty simple. And, um, yeah, so I came back the next day. Nobody complained about me. It was like, all right, we understand. You know, I've chipped my key before, too. Sometimes you have to sit there in line at Hyundai or whichever kind of car you got. Maybe even Toyota might do it, too. So I was, like, sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting until my key got replaced. And then um, uh, I, I got into break, and I, I, I usually break in the main office. You know, I, I take the unoccupied chair in the back, and I just... I pull up the table and eat, you know, and, um, yeah, so, some of the story is, uh, <laughs> he started fussing to me, he said, hey, why did you need to take a day off, you know, you could have had me fix your key, I said, oh, well, and then before I could even talk, he goes, here, give me your key, like, give me, like, I'll, I'll fix it, he's like, dude, what? Like, I've already pretty much, it, it's done, and, what? Cause like, I don't even trust you, I don't know you, you don't like me, I don't like you, why would I give you, out of all people, my key? And he was just like, oh, come on, dude, I, I know how to fucking do this, dude. oh, fuck, I failed the mission, damn it. Ah, uh, shit. Fuck. Damn, I gotta apologize. I had a feeling something like that would happen with this realistic ass game. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of my fault. Like I, I sleepwalked from a house I broke into. Uh, I could have just waited. I could have just hung out. I could have been patient. But nope, I had to sit here and dawdle and be a piece of shit. So he's probably sitting there waiting for me this whole time. He probably drank it up and everything. He's probably drunk as balls. But then he started getting sober and was like, wow, so... This guy never showed up. Fuck this guy. Some guard of the world he is. So this will probably lose reputation, which I don't really care. It does not matter. Um, but yeah, going back to that though, um, I, I ended that conversation with that guy with like a, hey, why don't you mind your own fucking business now? You know, I was like, you know, I was getting tired of him being on my back. And then everybody was just like, yeah, like, you know, leave, leave me alone. <laughs> like, you know, he's just trying to eat a sandwich. And he's all like, oh, I, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> you know, making a big scene about it. And he's just like, no, dude, like, get away. Get away, go away. <laughs> Do a little bit of all of the above. Oh, is it coming my, my direction? Oh. I feel like some of these guys probably recognize my face though, but it seems like they're not like completely after me. I think in daytime though, they'd probably be more prone to like chasing up to me. But right now, it's just like, whatever. Oh, there's a thief. What's up, dude? What's he coming Don't after him? Oh, I could have tackled it. Oh well. Good luck to you, sir. Hopefully, you can keep the cars busy. I'm sure I could have helped, but, you know, from one thief to another, I respect the hustle. 
There. Greetings, fellow thief. The only difference between him and me is probably, you know, he's actually trying to run away, not really get into any fights. Me, on the other hand, I'm fighting, I'm murdering thousands, hundreds, maybe not thousands yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're slowly becoming Genghis Kongi, just like I do in all my other games, but, you know, it's going to take a while because this game's actually hard to fight in. Hello, sir. I do wonder though, like, where's this priest at? Let's see, mysterious ways. Let's see. Where? Find out more about Limpy Lobush. Okay. Oh well, yeah, we gotta go apologize to the priest though. Is that optional though? That oh, shit, that guard's about to pass by. No, why? why? Oh, here we go. Full screen. Where? Not to ask anyone. Persuade him to tell me something. La 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 la. See, vengeance. Now, where where's the usual questing I would get? This is so annoying. Cause usually there would be like an A and B, and a little something something. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my room because I I think I paid for several nights anyway. So I'm just kind of wait until daytime. So I don't think he's even here. Open sesame. Yep, I'm still alive here. Good. Up we go. And I could probably take her out if I wanted to. Yeah. Is that one dude still here? I'm guessing that's a no. That's empty. Yeah, judging by the fact that it's empty here, I'm going to say that there's nobody here. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep for uh, six hours. Why not? Fuck. Like yeah. I'm still waiting to find a merchant that can buy stolen goods. I, I, I keep forgetting to look that up. Because they said in the loading screen, they said, oh, you can sell stolen goods to a fence. Where's the fence at? Hmm. Not the fence around a farmer's village. The fence where I can sell stolen goods. Like a person that calls out a fence. I don't know where they got that terminology from back in the day of medieval times in real life but yeah this makes me think though like I'm sure anyone could have just made up the story like oh yeah these are all stolen but it's actually like their own belongings so they'd be like oh cool this piece is worth a lot of gold like uh it's fucking juicy it's just like oh yeah yeah cool I'm, I'm glad I could have stolen it but in reality you're a smith and you made it the other day. What? What do you mean here again? Hey. What's he talking about? What? What are you talking about? Come back here. You could at least dress decently before showing you. What? Sure. I, I look decent. I'm just messy. Bitch. All right, Mr. Priest man, where are you? I wonder if he goes into the church first before actually doing his sword training. Like it's weird, like he'll sword train throughout the whole entire day outside the church, but never actually goes into the church. I think. Maybe. Who's this guy? What are you doing? The hell? What was that about? 
So you're trying to make sure his fence is dirty maybe or something? Is that what they do early in the morning? Beat it. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, so he's a beggar. Ah. Uh, it's probably because our reputation low here, too. Speaking of that, I think that we can actually check out our reputation on, uh. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we are. Uh, oh, wow. So, Oos hits. We are in negative 100. And, wow. Wow, so this place is probably the area I've done the worst crimes I've ever done. Wow. So if we were to correlate this into oblivion, once again, this would mean that all of the civilians in the town would probably hate the shit out of me. So I remember something similar happening. I remember one time I went around and killed every single guard and all that was left was just the people. So it was, it was fun to see. It was just like, haha. But if this is the case, like if people hate me this much, like I actually wonder if the priest will even talk to me now. I bet you that's why the guards are probably staying away from me too, because like I'm just I'm so disgusting and appalling to them that they're like, oh, like stay clear from that man, that criminal. You know, getting involved with him is not even worth it. Don't even arrest him. He's too much. What are you loitering here for? Get huh. Uh, there you go. You want 70 gold? Uh huh. Of course. I mean, here. Yeah, right. In the presbytery. Yes. Uh, so why are you so. I'm not. That's the same bell as before. Let's actually see where my reputation is now. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We're still at negative 100. But I bet you with that person that we're probably cool with him. So we probably have to give money to that priest as well. That'd be a pain in the ass. Yeah, let's go ahead and wait an hour. I'm getting tired of waiting for this guy. Speed this up. You now we'll have my character speed up time by waiting himself. But for me personally, this will be 20 seconds. Maybe 5, maybe 10. Instead of waiting for like 15 minutes. But at least we managed to make it to the town though. By the time I got into 30 minutes of my video. It's cool. What's up dude? How dare you be here. Not to come and disturb my solitude. Trust me, there's nowhere I'd rather have been. You wouldn't believe what happened to me. You've got that right. Damn it. What are you here for? I see you. I wouldn't have been with a stick. Hot. Damn. Yeah, he don't like me. I, I can't even do anything to him. Hot. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so now I'm kind of stuck on this quest now. I, I probably could have learned something really good, too. Let's see, map. Uh, should they put me all the way over here? Yep. Great. So he, he was probably my only lead, but I had to fuck it up by being the, the crazy guy I am. Well, uh, let's see. Inventory. Let's see. Shark quest. So I'm right back where I started. I'll have to ask around if anyone knows that about Lobush. Maybe the town bailiff? If not, perhaps Sir Rajik or Sir Hanish can advise me. Aren't they the people in, um... In, in my main town that I started off at? Like Ravna? Like, I'm pretty sure that was Hanish that we met. Like, maybe we do have to return to Rate. It's been a while, and I think Razig would probably be here, because that's kind of where we're from, I think. But then again, are we really, really close to, um, Ravna? Wouldn't it be better to go there? And we could always stop by Skelets, too, if I want to do. Let me steal some stuff from the, uh, unsuspecting bandits. 
I was screwing with my people. Because, like, before, I, I didn't really know about, like, stealth stuff. I was kind of, you know, moving around. But we could probably avoid the bandits, come up, do a sneak kill, and just absolutely decimate them. As intended the first place, but we weren't really too skilled in stealth at the time. <laughs> he doesn't even care if he hit me anymore. Jerk. Uh, but yeah, we'll walk to, um... Uh, the Ravna. Yeah. Let me just check if there's any roads that lead to there first. It's like, yeah, we kind of fucked it up with the priests. So that sucks. Uh, let's see. So, Townberg. Uh, I would say that my position here is, um... Are we even at Townburg? Okay, we're not at Townburg. We're at uh, Uswich, yeah. So, let's see here. So, there is a uh, area here. If I were to, let's see, what's this? What's this? Go and see Gertrude the Herb Woman and find out what she incited the Uswich woman to do. Oh, so that's a side quest, okay. Uh, but yeah, let's say I get up to this, uh, end of the village here. I could probably just straight up head west in whatever direction, and I will somewhat arrive at where I need to go. Hopefully I can get to some simple locations and kind of work my way bit by bit through, but yeah, it's whatever. I'm just happy though the guards ain't really interfering with me though, which is cool. But I'm sure if I get, like, right up in their face, they might go like, halt right there, halt right there. Or if I were to do something again and they happen to be in the area and someone goes, Help, corpse! You know, they're probably going to blame the murder. I wouldn't be surprised. But, yep, off we go. To the adventuring we do. I just hope we don't get jailed along the way. Now, uh, there's two of you here. Oh shit. Stop right where you are. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. I've heard reports about you picking fights with people, and we don't like that around here, my boy. Mm. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. A nice pile, uh huh. Oh, uh, that's only 80. That ain't bad. Cool. Alright, let's do that. All right. There you go. Here you are. 80 ain't too bad. I'll be keeping an eye on you, you can be sure of that. <laughs> nice. Cool. Uh, how much money do I have still? I got 3.9k, so we did have 4,000, we just lost like a good close to 100. Not, not quite that much, but you know, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I forgot why I was checking my map, but you know, we are around here. Do have a long distance to cover. I'm at 36 minutes now. Pip, I think this is the area I saw on the map. It's like we had the pretzel factory. I mean, as long as we head in this direction, this is west. So, we'll be fine. Yeah. And I assume that if I see passenger buyers in the long distance, we'll be traveling. I'm definitely taking them out. There's gotta be a couple of people by themselves, or maybe some random village I can stumble across that's not here. Cause this place is full of guards and crazy shit, people who don't like me. You know, of course they'll never like me anyway, but yeah, you get you get the point. As an aggressive criminal, I must take my leave. I shall return one day though, to continue my quest, my main quest for that matter. I'm still going to do my duties as a guard of my town, but I will still be a nasty son of a bitch. Yes. So, yep, off we go to the adventure. Let's venture past the area that we rode our horse through at full speed when we went to Townburg. I'm pretty sure that there's probably a way to like, actually pass by this place when we, uh, when we were on a way to town, but I think we took this road down that way. And we went, and then we went to town, Bert. Alright, here we go, shrine. Let's see where we are. So, my map. Uh huh. Yeah, 
I think I saw my uh, summary. Oh, yeah, so we're headed the right way. Nice. Yep. So, yeah, we'll follow this trail. Once it kind of splits off, we can. Well, we might even be able to stop by Townburg for all we know. So, I mean, it's relatively close, so. Yeah. It couldn't really hurt to stop by Townburg. I think this is one of the. Uh, is this where I became a guard, or is this where we. Uh, this is where I became a friend, or I forget. I think it was Rob that though that we had issues. But then again, I don't really, I don't really remember too much going on there. I think I think Rob that was the place where there was like dead bodies and all burnt to a crest from skeletons, like you know these guards or bandits that attacked here, including the uh, mercenaries probably brought all the bodies to this town and burned it. Yep, there's a little tent over this way, something going on there. So yep, I think it's safe to say we do have to go to Townburg. You know, Skelets doesn't have anything, and if Townburg doesn't do anything for me, then we'll head to uh, Rete. Yep, and this uh, Lechi Richo, whatever, I, I've never been there, so that's not going to be a familiar place. And there's nothing down this way either. Yep. Cool. So yeah, I guess it is actually good that we're taking this route. I actually thought that we were gonna have to head to Ravna, or Ravna, but nope. We can follow this trail, head to the left, and we end up in Townburg, where right where I need to go. And I think if I if my memory serves me right, this must have been the place that I went to the like the southern region. And I think that I was uh, sneaking about to the south. Or was that Rete? Yeah, I think it was Rete. Because I, I remember it being some southern camp out thing. Somewhere. Because, yep, here's where uh, our lady friend is. Taught to Miller. So I guess we missed that date. Yeah, missed that date. So, yeah, here's the place that I did my main executional run. I didn't really go here. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, <laughs> I still think it's quite funny to have villagers actually respawn, so that we can kind of do this over and over again. Yeah, so I mean, if I really want to keep all my gold, I could just serve my time in jail over and over and over whenever I get caught, and then I can keep whatever hundreds of thousands of money I, I make. Just want to be too bad, and plus, if we're doing quests and side quests and. You know, taking out bandits and selling their gold, their goods, and making gold from that. And same thing with guards, like dead guards that we find too, or pillage goods. Maybe, you know, and maybe certain stolen things we can sell to certain people. And all that jazz. So yeah, I think after I reach like uh, 55 minutes here in my travels here to this place, as long as nothing happens, I am going to go ahead and go to. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm gonna look up on YouTube and just kind of hang out, you know, watch some uh, videos to see where I can find these fences in Kingdom Come. I got type in Kingdom Come fence, and it's lunchtime anyway, so I would like to eat my meal, probably whip up some French fries and shit. And ah, oh, I realized what I forgot to get when I went to the dollar store. I forgot to buy cheese. It's like, you know, if I got leftover fries, it's good to get cheese. I mean, I got mustard there, which is cool, but... Uh, mustard and cheese would be cool. So then usually when you eat a good sandwich, it's like, oh yeah, like ham, cheese, catch a mustard pickle. Uh, all that good shit. Now, what is this? This is some kind of warning. The hell? I'm guessing that's to indicate something. That's probably like you know, hunting ground or maybe a camp. Uh, but yeah, we'll stick to the main trail though, because I, I think that's where I have to go anyway. It's cool that there's sub trails, and I would love to get distracted, but I'm in a hurry, so I'd rather take the road that I know I won't get lost on, and, and I'm taking much longer than I actually will need to. Uh, bunny rabbit.
Plus, uh, now that we are actually kind of just taking walks in this game now, because of over encumbrance, I think I said it before, but we get to take in the way the area looks, you know, invest the way it looks into my brain. Because, like, even if you just glance at something, your, your brain is actually fully or almost fully memorizing everything it sees, even if you only see cut corners and stuff. So let's say that you have a dream about this game, you might actually memorize this entire forest without even realizing it. Like, every fucking detail. Like, I've actually had dreams about that when I play a game and I'll, like, I'll, I'll memorize like an entire beach, an entire layout of a map in Conan. And, you know, instead of me playing the game, I'll be in the game. And other people will be too, and then we'll be like fighting as our characters and stuff. It's kind of neat. It's pretty fun too, because in a dream there was a uh, seven people trying to ambush me when my friend was asleep. And, like right when he went to bed, they were like, "Oh, uh, assassin is by himself. Let's go attack." They were like, "Yeah, look, he's right there across the beach." I was like, Arr! "Like I was going all out, just fighting all seven of them." It's a lot better than my previous fight like that like it used to be on my old channel where I, I was spamming stuff I was a noob and I, I joined a tribe that was about to leave and I had some of their armor and then I was trying to become a trader like I was gonna rebuild structures in the game and actually kind of like not actually PvP but I was gonna make like a, a PvP um, store so like let's say you needed star metal I would have thousands of that ready like you could train me like cool swords or maybe tames or thralls maybe a cool blueprint or well I think that's for art but yeah like just just anything really uh, I don't know I actually picked these mushrooms no nope. okay there was a herbalist uh, ability but I think we need to be taught that first to even have permission to pick things off the ground. Which is kind of shitty if that's the case, because I did see Herbalist as one of the perks. So I'm guessing I probably have to walk into a town and have someone train me in that, and they probably lead me into a forest and tell me what plants I can pick up, and then from then on I can probably pick things up on my own. Which is kind of bad, but whatever. It do what it do. Yep. Let's see, can I see a town bird from here? I mean, I can kind of see a structure, but I don't know if that's town bird or not. So I'm not going to jump the gun and think that I'm right. So I would hate to end up at the wrong place. So I mean, there's still a lot of the map to see, so I wouldn't like to just hit the wrong side. Also, another project I wanted to work on with this channel. Especially now that we've beaten Okami, so now I can add another game to uh, to my list of things to play on the side. I, like, I still want to do the side quests in that game, and kind of complete the main thing again, I guess, one more time. But, yeah, I, I mainly want to do all the side quests, you know, bit by bit. Since we kind of recorded it a good bit. My, my girlfriend likes to watch me play it, too, so I mean, it gives her, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, Ian points, I would say. Know, so, I don't know. I'm just mainly recording it more because I, I enjoy winning over our heart even more than I already do. You know, make make the relationship more exciting. <laughs> this is like, well, why have her love you 110% when you can have her love you 130%? You know, she always says, "I love you more." Well, like, can we can we add more to the "I love you more"? You know, because. I, I imagine me and her are going to stay together forever, but like, you know, it doesn't hurt to reinforce their relationship, you know. I'm sure she may think the same thing as well. So, you know, may, maybe even like when I when I had her watch uh, one of my favorite animes, ReZero, with me, like she probably didn't fully like it as much as I did, but, you know, she actually got interested enough to read the manga and the stuff, and she enjoyed that, so that was cool. She likes to read more than I, I than I do. I only read if I'm like fully invested into a show. Like I I read One Piece. I read or I used to read Naruto, but then stopped. Once it got the Boruto, I was like, yeah, I ain't doing that. 
<laughs> like, I'll watch Boruto here and there, especially since shit is going down, but it was like a lot of episodes of just... Yeah, let's go to Burger King. Oh, look, somebody used Shadow Clones and went to murder people in the village. Oh, let's go save the village, yay. And I get it, you know, just like in the beginning of regular Naruto, like, you know, Naruto had to get stronger, but I don't know, maybe it's just with that series, I just don't feel like watching uh, a guy who looks almost just like his dad do the exact same thing, but... The only difference, though, is this kid's a spoiled brat. There isn't, like, I want to make friends or, you know, any kind of... Believe it! Like, he doesn't have a, a lingo. He's just like, hey, I'm here to hang out and do nothing. Like, just stop, dude. <laughs> like, go away. Like, not really, since his Naruto cares about him. But, yeah. Yeah. And now we got some people who only watch like a good tiny bit of Boruto, like the the new generation of kids watching anime. And now they think that like him, Boruto in his early stage of fighting, and even Deku without like even the manga version. Like the manga version might have more of a chance to fight other different universes animes now. But, you know, it took so long to get to that point. You know, because to, to generalize it, let's say that we were to compare like you know, let's say this castle right this tiny castle uh if you got like a character like luffy like this guy can do one punch and probably wipe out this whole village within like 20 seconds you know it doesn't take that long at all or he can just do one of his awakening uh fucking gear fourth gear third switches and just punch everywhere <laughs> i don't know uh, and then you got Goku, you can just do like a blast, whereas like if you got like a Deku or even Boruto with this new, uh, Jogun, uh, activation, awakening, arm, demon power thing, whatever, you know, if he was to like destroy this village, it would take both of them individually, you know, Boruto might be faster, so, you know, he's from the Naruto verse, so it might, let's say, take him 20 minutes maybe. You know, to get rid of every building and shit, using Rasengans and shit. Deku, on the other hand, got the one for all, but it doesn't, like, create a crater into the ground. If anything, he can probably take down a house within, like, like a single house within 15 to 20 minutes. So, whereas Boruto is already bounced around, like, starting to keep up with Luffy and Goku and, you know, getting up to their rank, per se. You know, he can just... He'll be busy sitting there slowly trying to catch up. Like, we're talking about a person who's closest to just being human. So, yeah. Uh, pe people are wrong. <laughs> but, like, you know, with, with all the different powers and abilities now, all the mixed quirks and, you know, the fact that his his hit is a lot more tough now within the uh, the manga or the comic, whatever you call it. Manga, manga, tingo, tingo, bongo. You know, any form of words that may make people happy. Because some people get fussy over what, what people say. Um, you know, he he can probably do that a lot faster. You know, it's like maybe like a single punch might like take one-fourth of the village out. Instead of uh, his current anime self. Yeah. But, yeah, it's kind of weird though when people want to make big arguments over scaling. Uh, you can make like big points like I just did, and people will still be like, "But no, he he, he can beat Goku." And I'm like, how? I'm like he he can. Like, really? <laughs> like they won't even get in depth with it. It would be like if you had like Robin as your favorite superhero or well hero, like you know Batman's little sidekick, and somebody like you know anybody can tell that Superman can like punch a hole into the whole planet within seconds. If you can punch a hole in a planet, you can probably, like, completely destroy a person. Meanwhile, Robin, he can't do that shit. But, like, people in the past would argue all the time, like, but, but Robin has the power of justice. His heart is so much bigger and better than Batman. He is the true human. He is the embodiment of what is right. It's like, oh really? Well, if he's all his justice and what is right, why don't you give him a chance to fight Superman? 
but instead, you know, give him the Batman suit that Batman used to fight Superman, but also give Robin a Green Lantern ring. If he's so pure and full of justice, give him that ring. He can not only throw around Superman and do some damage, but now he has almost equal power because the Green Lantern ring and he's full of justice and purity. You know, because that's how the Green Lanterns get their powers and shit. But enough of my nerd yapping. <laughs> I get off on tangents sometimes, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.